Boy, we had a blustery day, rainy too. I mean, First Energy telling us there are about 3,000 power outages at one point in the Cleveland area because of strong winds. Yeah, Lena, you're absolutely right. This uh, area, low pressure, we were on the warmer side of things yesterday. Today, we're on the colder side of things. And as it really gets ramped up, those winds have increased over the last uh, really six to 12 hours. We've seen them from west to east increase, and they're going to continue to be gusty tonight. But things are going to turn better tonight and tomorrow, as, you hear, as you'll see here in the forecast. Uh, spring has really been missing. We know that, but it is going to arrive this week, I really think, for most of us. Until then, we're dealing with the backside of the low pressure. So we had the rain today, anywhere from one to an inch and a half of rain across the viewing area. Even some reports, uh, radar estimates up to two inches as you get down towards the south and east. You can see we still have some showers ongoing across areas of Cuyahoga Lake and northern Geauga County. That's all on the backside of this massive area of swirl that is this low pressure. It's very elongated. You notice the thick clouds that are with it as well. But it becomes quickly uh, sunshine as you get into Michigan areas of Indiana. So we're not far off from the nice weather, but we've got a few hours to go here. And those winds, as Lena mentioned earlier, gusting, especially off the lake where there's not a lot of friction. You can see gusts still to 40 downtown over towards Elyria, Ashtabula, a 25 mile per hour gust. Still gusty as you get inland as well. Mansfield clocking a 36 mile per hour gust in the last 15 minutes. And as a result, all that water piles up in Lake Erie on the western basin where it's most shallow. So we've got lakeshore flood warnings that go through tonight for areas near Sandusky, Putin Bay, the islands. That extends all the way over towards the Toledo in the Detroit area. So those wind gusts will be coming down. Notice how as we go throughout the overnight, we're talking gusts only in the 20 mile per hour range, about four or five o'clock in the morning. Temperatures, yeah, it's raw outside. We're in the 40s. It's warmest off to the west where we're getting away from that low pressure. But look at the difference just a mere 100 miles makes. We're dealing with temperatures in the 60s in Louisville, 70s in the Plains, and once again, it is warmer in Bismarck than it is here locally, as we are the coldest spot in the country here with this area low pressure. But the National Design Mart hour-by-hour hour forecast, oh boy, this is going to paint a nice picture as we go through time, as we bring in not just, uh, it looks like my map got a little off center. Let me move this back down. There we go. That way we can see everybody there. You can see as we go through time, we do start to clear those skies out tonight. A little leftover cloudiness tomorrow morning, especially out east as that low continues to pull away. But by noon tomorrow, most of us should be in bright sunshine. Temperatures will be on the cool side as we still have a northerly breeze, but we'll make it up near 60 degrees down to the south. That lake breeze, obviously, that wind off the lake causing temperatures to be a little bit cooler lakeside. But I think a gorgeous Monday for everybody. Clouds do start to increase tomorrow night, though, and that's a sign of things to come as Tuesday will bring a warm front in here. That will bring some scattered showers, even a couple rumbles of thunder with this as we go throughout your Tuesday. Not a washout by any means. It's kind of a transition day, but we will be dealing with rain across the area. Look at temperatures Tuesday afternoon, well into the 60s, pretty much area-wide, exception being the lakeshore, and that will set us up for a stormy Wednesday. Tomorrow's Get Outside forecast looks like this, so I've got to set a 9 out of 10. I think it's going to be great outside of those morning clouds. It'll be good to get outside, not just morning, midday, but afternoon and evening as well. All right, let's zoom ahead to that stormy Wednesday, just an early preview of what this looks like. There's our Tuesday thunderstorms coming along a warm front, but an area low pressure will develop near Wisconsin. This will bring perhaps a squall line of showers and thunderstorms in here Wednesday. And then today's picture looks like Thursday's picture, area low pressure with just rain and some cooler conditions setting back in beyond that. Universal Windows Direct 7 day forecast. There's our warm up with some springtime showers and storms Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday gets cool again, and then all eyes on the weekend. I'm calling for a 70 next Saturday with some sunshine. So we'll take a look at that forecast, but good news is we will have some springtime temperatures on the go 